Hi everyone, Stacy here from Two Farms. So I wanted to do a follow-up video on um, water glassing eggs. Um, uh, we did our taste test a weekend or two ago and that went really well. And it actually um, intrigued me and, and pushed me to do even more water glassed eggs because um, it's such a great way of saving them and I see the value in it now. Um, you always go through spurts where your chickens are not um, laying as good. I mean, lots of things can er um, interfere with their laying. So I want to be able to have stock for during that time. I bake a lot um, and really we should eat more scrambled eggs anyway. So um, I'm just going to do a little video um, on that just to show you some things that I have learned. And um, it'll just be a real quick video, okay? So... Um, don't pay attention to my kitchen. Um, it's a hot mess. So this is the pickling line that I use. I use it, um, can find it at Rural King. Um, you can buy hydrated lime, but like in the construction section, um, I've been told Lowe's, Home Depot, I've never been able to find it. Um, I buy it in these bags, but I don't like the bags. So I switch it over to a mason jar for storage because these are just hard to get your hand in, hard to work with in my opinion. And you're only doing one ounce by weight into four cups of water um, when you initially mix. That's the ratio. Now you may need more than that. At Restaurant um, Depot, now that Jerry has the restaurant, I have found these containers that have these lovely lids and I like them so much more than glass jars. They don't weigh nearly as much but the lid seals on there really good. And I can see what's in it still, and I really, really like them. You need a scale. You need something in that scale because you're going to turn your scale on, but you're going to need to tear whatever it is. I usually use that little Pampered Chef jar because I'm going to need one ounce by weight, something to mix your lime in, a whisk or a spoon, and then your water. So here is my one ounce by weight of pickling lime. There is really no good way to mix this stuff. It's going to powder up. It's going to it's going to smoke up. It's it's really really light, so you're going to see that it kind of I don't know, makes a a little bit of a cloud, but it's not enough to hurt you. And then you're just going to mix it in. Now I tell you, it doesn't matter how long you stir it. I've stood here and stirred it for minutes. Got it all mixed in, thought it was great, poured it over the eggs, and a couple of minutes later it was um, separating and sitting, and that's okay. It does not matter, obviously, with the video I did before eating the eggs four months out. It doesn't make any difference. It's just as long as you have the solution mixed to begin with. So, we'll set that there. We're going to move this lid off, and then you just pour it gently over the eggs. And again, these are fresh. I gathered these today. They are clean. They have not been washed. They are just naturally clean eggs, um, which it doesn't always happen because sometimes your eggs look like that. And if they have stuff on them, you can't use them for water glassing but it does have to be fresh eggs. I'm gonna make another batch of the water because what's gonna happen is this isn't a full container, but I need to go ahead and get them in um, the water glass. So now, over the next week or so, I will put a little label on the top of the lid telling me what days these are from and how many eggs I have in here. And I will add to that until I get this container full and then it's going to go on my pantry shelf or somebody else's pantry shelf. I've actually started doing some of these and, um, and giving them um, to individuals for their pantry, which I kind of like. I think is a really cool gift um, for the future. So if you have any questions, these water glassing seems to be one of the biggest questions I get. So wanted to share that with you. Um, another that I get is... Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about prepping and what is goes in a good pantry 
what um, what are some items for bartering um, if we were to ever get there and bartering is never a bad thing even in a good economy um, it, being able to, to have things that you can trade um, for something else something else of use so I'm actually I'm compiling a list of items for a pantry my thoughts everybody's gonna be different but I'm gonna get, combine a list and do a video on what I think I want in my pantry things that are important to us as our family and then also a list of items that have value if we were to go to a cashless society or not even that but just in in hard times you needed to barter out things um, so that video is coming I'm working on that um, we've been under the weather for about a week had COVID today is the first day that I really really feel human so just wanted to get back out there um, please remember to like share um, follow um, we appreciate it and um, we're not huge there's lots of huge groups out there we're small we're trying to keep it really focused on Central Florida um, because we're so unique our weather's unique our um, soils unique so we're just trying to I mean not that we won't love and accept people from outside that area but just know that what we're working with is here I follow a lot of different groups Tennessee different areas and their soil there um, and there's that Florida weather you hear out there um, their soil every weather is so much different than ours and their gardens look very much different than ours especially our little small backyard gardens so I hope y'all have a good evening um, it's good to be back on the land of the living and I'll talk to you later bye